What's up guys? In this tutorial, I will show you how to optimize your mouse settings for Valorant. The first thing you should do is disable mouse acceleration on your system. Mouse acceleration changes the cursor movement based on the speed of your hand rather than the distance you move your mouse, which leads to inconsistent aim. In your start menu, search for mouse settings and hit enter. Access the pointer options. In the mouse settings window, scroll down and click additional mouse options. Go to the Pointer Options tab and uncheck the box labeled Enhance Pointer Precision. This will disable mouse acceleration. Click Apply and OK to save your changes. With mouse acceleration off, your aim will feel more predictable and consistent. Next, we'll configure the raw input buffer setting in Valorant. This setting affects how the game processes data from your mouse. Launch Valorant and navigate to the General tab in the Settings menu and locate the Raw Input Buffer option under Mouse Settings. Raw Input Buffer basically reduces the delay between your mouse movements and how Valorant processes them. If your mouse has a pulling rate of 2000 Hz or higher, turn Raw Input Buffer on. This ensures that Valorant can handle the large amount of data from high-end mice. If your mouse has a pulling rate below 2000 Hz, turn Raw Input Buffer off to avoid unnecessary delays. To verify your mouse pulling rate, use your mouse's software or look up the specifications online. Now that your settings are optimized, it's time to find the best sensitivity for your playstyle. Sensitivity is a personal preference, but this exercise will help you refine it. Open the practice range in Valorant. Set your sensitivity to double its current value. Press F3 to set the bots to easy mode. Perform flick shots on the bots and notice if you're overshooting the target or falling short of the target. If you're constantly over flicking, your sensitivity is too high. Reduce it by small increments such as 1 or 0.5 and start the test again. If you're under flicking, your sensitivity is too low. Increase it slightly and reset. Once you feel your flick shots are more accurate, make smaller adjustments such as reducing the sensitivity by 0.1 increments until it feels perfect. Once you've narrowed down your sensitivity, test your ability to perform 180 degree turns quickly and accurately. This is critical for situations where you need to react to enemies behind you. You can then start another session with easy bots in the practice range. Turn away from the bots and listen to their spawn locations. Attempt to perform a 180 degree turn and aim for the hands. If your flicks are accurate, but your 180s feel sluggish, slightly increase your sensitivity. Your preferred sensitivity might vary depending on your role and playstyle. For example, if you are a duelist, a higher sensitivity will help with clearing corners and fast movements while entering sites. Once you find a sensitivity that feels good, stick with it to build muscle memory. However, don't be afraid to tweak it if you feel your aim isn't improving. Adjustments won't ruin your muscle memory, it just takes a little time to adapt. Optimizing your mouse settings and sensitivity for Valorant is a process of fine-tuning and testing. Disabling mouse acceleration, adjusting raw input buffer and systematically finding the perfect sensitivity will greatly improve your aim consistency. Remember, your ideal settings should suit both your playstyle and comfort level. I hope this helped you out. Leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.